Now I'm joined here at Bishop Gate by the Longford Town skipper Dean Zambra. And Dean, disappointing to lose at home to Kevin Teeley in the top table clash. 18 game season and now six points behind the leaders. Yeah, as you said, Tommy, a very disappointing game, you know. Um, we wanted to kind of come out and make a statement and maybe try and close that gap, but um, wasn't to be on the night. Um, several errors led to goals, you know what I mean? Just in this league, you can't do that. Um, obviously, you can't really good sides playing, uh, playing well, have good momentum behind them, and they punished us for mistakes. And you know, we really have ourselves to blame for it. But uh, we need to move on. Like I said, short season. Um, but we need to try and recover that ground. That's all we can do at this point, and move on to call on Saturday. Now, despite losing players at the end of each season, and they lost players again this season, for example, Rob Manley, top goal scorer last season, we have coming to Longford Town. They're still producing talent, and Shane Burns up front with the vast experience, Kieran Marty Waters, of course, who's been with them a while now. Yeah, well, obviously, Marty's a great player, um, and I know him a long time, played with him at Bray, of mm -hmm. course, and uh, he's just a very good player, he knows how to play the game. Um, we have to give Pat Devlin, again, we all manage a lot of credit. He's been in the league for a long, long time, he's done this with several clubs, always on small budgets, and um, I don't think there's any secret uh, formula or anything for Pat. It's just he gets good young players, they're talented, they work hard and they're hungry. And they're getting their rewards for the last couple of years, good work. Uh, they're top of the table, they deserve to be there at the moment. And now it's uh, Cove Randall's up next for Longford Town and then a home game against Wexford. So Cove, difficult venue to go to and get a win. Got a win there in the last away game yeah. of the season last year. So six points out of six really is crucial. Yeah, uh, I think, look, the situation we're in, we can only, we can only do one game at a time. I know that's cliche and you probably always hear it, but after a setback like tonight, um, we wouldn't be looking past Cove, you know, we have to we have to go down there and do the business against them. Uh, always very tough opponents, um, like I said, we won there back in the last season, but got to go and do it again now and um, not much more excuses left, like, you know, we have to go and perform and get up to the standard that we know we can play at, but we are uh, finding it difficult to reach that level just right now. So Saturday is our first chance and we've got to do everything we can to be ready for that. And Cove were very unlucky to lose 1-0 in their last game, the last time I was away to Cabin Tilly. They had to rely on Shane Barron scoring at about 12, 30 minutes from time. So that proves that they have caliber. Yeah, absolutely. Like, um, never expect an easy game against Cove or, or anyone in the league at the moment. It's a very competitive league. But um, like you said, Cove battled very well against Cabotini and all reports seem to be they were very, very unlucky to lose the game. And I'm sure they're uh, looking forward to getting a game against us at home and hopefully um, we can do the business, but um, it won't be easy. They're, they'll be very, very tough side. Um, always expect a tough game, always expect an organised team and, and players that work extremely hard. And I think we've learned by now that uh, every game we come up against is going to be a really, a really tough battle. So we've got to match the battle and then hopefully we can add some more quality to it and, and come away with the three points. 